Hi everybody, today we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to use a piece of software called Canva. Now you're probably familiar with Canva, a lot of people use it for making thumbnails, but we're going to use it for making a lower third stroke logo for the YouTube channel. And once we've made it in Canva, we can actually use this logo, lower thirds, whatever you want to call it, on any software that you do your video editing with. So you can use it on LumaFusion, Premiere Pro, all sorts of video editing software. So, let's have a look how we make it and you'll end up with something that goes like this. You can also put here, or you can put here, or you can... That's a bit rude. Anyway, let's crack on, let's have a look at it. Let's kick off with Canva. We're going to open a 19 by 20 by 1080 and we're going to import a background and we're going to change the colour to green. And that is how this is going to work. We're going to use a green screen. So we're now going to import a frame. Now on this frame you can import a picture on it. So I'm going to go and import a photograph of myself. Now if you wish you can use a photograph of yourself. You don't have to use one of me. Only kidding. Why would you want a picture of me? But there you go. And I'm going to drag that on. And as you can see it imports it. Now I don't think that that's quite lined up. So I'm going to hit crop. And I'm going to, I'm going to line the picture up exactly as I want it. And then I'm going to add a black circle just to give it a little bit more definition around the edge of the of the frame. And I'm going to adjust it till I get it right. And then I'm going to put some text on. Now, believe it or not, I'm going to put my own name on here. You can put your name on if you wish. Once again, I don't like the font, so I'm going to change the font to one that I like. And I quite like this one. And I'm going to place it on top. Now this is a premium. Or you have to have a premium account to be able to do this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve it. And then adjust the curve so it fits around the edge of the circle. Just like that. As Tommy Cooper used to say. If you're English and you're old like me, you'll remember who Tommy Cooper was. If you're not, you won't have a clue. There we go, all lined up. And then I'm going to add some more text. Adjust the text how I want it, so put the correct font in. I want matching font. And I'm going to stretch it out so it's all in a line rather than a, in a block. And this is going to go underneath. And once again, like I did at the top, I'm going to centre it. So that everything's all nice and lined up. And then I'm going to go to effects. Once again, hit the curve button. And this time I'm going to curve it the other way. And then all I have to do after that is export it and save it. So I can either save it on my device, save it on Dropbox or whatever you want to save it on. And then I can import it into LumaFusion and use it as I wish. Right, let's show you how to do it. I've imported the picture and as you can see it's all green so I'm going to double click on it and I need to change the green screen so you can see through it so I'll click on the little key icon at the top change the key color to green and there you go now as you can see the writing is not very clear so I'm altering the brightness range and as you can see that brings all the writing and the outer circle out really really nice and bold once I've done that all I'm going to do is adjust the size and then place it where I want to place it. So I want it, say there. 
Okay. All right, let's have a look. And we'll just play it now. And there you go, up it pops. Now, if I want to put it somewhere else, all I'm going to do is duplicate it, drag it somewhere else on the timeline, double click on it, and then just move it to where I want it. And then once again, let's play it and see what happens. So there's my first one, disappears, there's my second one. Now you can do all sorts of things with it. You can make this as long as you want it. So I've duplicated it again, drag it onto the timeline, and I'm going to stretch it out so it's quite a bit longer than the two seconds that are already on there. And what I'm going to do now is double click, and with the use of a few keyframes, I'm going to alter the position, sorry. I'm going to alter the position, and with the use of a few keyframes, I'm going to get it so it fades in and then fades out. Right, so let's try it now. Play it all. Bottom, top fades in and fades out. And like I said, you can use this wherever you like. You can use it on LumaFusion or what other software you want. It's great. Anyway, hope you found that really interesting. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please share it with your friends. And hopefully, I'm going to see you in the next video very shortly. Bye, everybody. See you soon.